You are listening to Grammy's Rocket Chair on RLM Radio. The girl of your dreams has got to be in some bar. Sorry, boys and girls, but this is X-rated. So if you're under 18... Get out, God damn it! Get the point. Good. And now... Bend over. Y'all ready for this? We do it all night long. And now, your host, Grammy. Oh! I had to do that because, well, Carol Burnett's already got the... Oh! Uh, 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 uh. <laughs> hey there. It's a Freaker Friday and you are listening to Grammy's Rocket Chair here on RealLibertyMedia.com, Channel 10. Also on the RLM Spreaker Channel, the RLM TuneIn Radio Station, the RLM Internet Radio Station, the RLM Radio.xyz site, and I forget. Is there any place else? <laughs> I'm infecting the world. There you go. <coughs> Excuse me. Quick, quick. That was all that Tarzan stuff. That's what it was. Oh, it is a Freaker Friday here on Real Liberty Media. Wee-haw! And I had to do Oz because, well, if I didn't do Oz, I was going to have Gilligan stuck in my head. <laughs> it's all Grimm's fault. Damn it, that's my story and I'm sticking to it. Oh, well. <laughs> that's right, the girl of your dreams has got to be in some bar. <laughs> You want cheesy poofs? Oh my goodness. Okay. Wow. You guys are just crazy. And yes, Grim, mine's has been somewhat quirky of late. But that's okay. That's okay. Eh, somebody else is putting the bill, so I'm just using it. <laughs> okay. Moving along. Over here on Twitter. Hey, Vinny. Hey, Barman. Thank you, Grimmy, for letting everybody know that I'm live and in poison. And thank you, uh, Vinny, as well. You crazy man. I want to know, have you figured out what the internet was? I was going to look that up and, and was going to, I have was going to disease today. <laughs> That's closely associated with squirrel. <laughs> pretty much. Pretty much. I also see over here on Twitter that, yeah, Peter Fonda died. I, not to be mean, but I'm really not going to miss him. It's like, okay. I didn't know the guy, really didn't care for a lot of the stuff he did, and so, eh, eh, is that heartless of me? Am I being a heartless heifer with that? Too bad, just being honest. Oh, well, uh, over here on, I know, I'm just, I'm just not a very nice person sometimes. Over here on Mines, let's go to Mines, seeing as how it's being just a wee bit on the quakey side. Hi, Nick Mon. Grr says no. Oh, hey, okay. What was that sock? Do what? Oh, the AC is on in the blanket fort. Sweet! Yeah, because my AC, I think, is shooting craps. It's really not putting out very cool air. I, it's probably tired of doing a never ending battle, is <laughs> probably what's going on. But yeah, may have to have that looked at. Eh. And I got ceiling fans, so I got air moving, so it's all good. It's so good. Oh, as opposed to outer net. Oh, so the inner net is on the inner. Is that like that that um, hernia mesh that all those lawsuits were about? <laughs> oh, Rob. Darn it. Don't you know the positions are never going to be appropriate for... Um, <laughs> you to get any good uh clear pictures just saying just putting that out there you pervy buggers peeking in my blankie fort i know grim i figured he was dead a long time ago as well but eh, maybe maybe the meat suit was still operating it it, it you know somebody was running the little remote controlly stuff that could be if such a thing could be it would be why? Because I said so. If you can think it up, it can happen. That's a truly scary thought. Um, well, okay. So I got to tell you. Uh, <laughs> no AC. That's not cool. But um, bum bum. Okay, clever feller. <laughs> and guess what? Guess what? 
<clears throat> my kitty cat just got on my lap. So yeah, things just got a little bit warmer because she's she's a yeah. Hi, you gonna say hi, Rascal, or are you just gonna look at me and and poke me with your claws again? Oh, that was Rascal rubbing against the mic because that's what she does. Okay. <laughs> have I have I prattled on long enough about absolutely nothing yet? Um, okay, over here on mine. Thank you, Barman, for letting everybody over here know that I'm live. I'm sure you did, cause yeah, I'm. I didn't. I haven't seen it yet, but. <laughs> oh, it's. Have you ever had a Monday on a Friday? It really throws your week off. It really does. Uh, let's see. Over here on realliberty.org. Thank you, Grim, for letting everybody over here know that I am live and in poison. I truly do appreciate it, hon. You're so awesome. Grimmy does so much. I don't know what we're going to do when Grimmy finally says, okay, enough of you guys. I, I need a break. Because I think people might show up with pitchforks and torches and go, who do we need to kill? <laughs> That's kind of the response I got from Beetle when I announced that I was doing a hiatus. I'm still trying to figure out how a hiatus. Is that like someone with only three fingers on one hand and the other hand and doing a Never mind. Over here on Effin's site, freedomsnetwork.com. I see Grimner is over here, letting everybody over here know that I'm live. And Metal Pancakes is here. And let's see, Bungle in the Jungle and Cowboy Tech were on for a little while there. I didn't see who was on over on... Oh, that's Rob Wakes and Grim and me. Pretty much. Hi, Rascal. I, sweetheart, you are just such a warm kitty cat. <sighs> I know she's see this this is the times when it would be really cool if I could do video I mean I'm sure I could but my internet is just yeah but if you could see this cat right now <laughs> she's got paws on both sides of my chin and rubbing on the mic she's such a goofball such a goofball hers a lovey kitty but basically it's all because she knows you will give her scratchings and then she's like i love you ooman i will not kill you in your sleep now that that's catitude for you okay over here on fakey book hi george it's new how you doing that's n u by the way that's his islander name uh polynesian i think polynesian islands i think i think i think Hmm, how are you doing, new? And Simon Sinek is posting like crazy. Hmm. Oh, hey, I like this. Grandma is the answer. It doesn't matter what the question is. That's true. That's true. Because grandmas rock. <laughs> and Grammys are the wild child of the grandma crowd. So, yes, and my sister Loop de Lou shared that. We all have nicknames, by the way. Just so you know. Okay, so I've been to uh, Real Liberty. I've been to Fakey Book. I've been to Mines. I've been to Twitter. Over here on In the Matrix, they're posting like crazy again. Everybody's on and on and on about Jeffrey Epstein. And you know what? I did see something not too long ago. Well, actually, it couldn't have been very long ago because it's just over the weekend. Um, yeah, give it a week and Epstein will be gone. I'm to the point now where it's like, okay, I'm tired of hearing this shit. I don't think he's dead. Period. I'm tired of discussing it. Who took him? Where is he at? I have no freaking clue. No freaking clue. But the happy thought in my mind, the happy thought in my mind, is he's getting everything that he so richly deserves. What he has worked for all of his life. All that karmic Rebat or rebound coming at him. That's what gives me happy thoughts. May you get everything you have worked so hard for. That's a blessing that I give a lot of people. Why? Because I can go from Southern Belle to Ghetto Thug faster than you can say, Bless your heart. Just don't push it. I have a t shirt that also <laughs> says, 51% um, sweetheart, 49% bitch. Don't press your luck. <laughs> My daughter is so, she makes some really fun t-shirts. And I just have to model them for her. I just have to. 
Okay, now over to the place where you need to be if you want to give me some static. And if you are listening in on the Spreaker channel and you want to chat along, come on over to reallibertymedia.com. Think of a nickname, join the chat, and give me some static, and the rest of the people give it back because I get so, here you go, Vinny, easily distracted. <laughs> you know, Sock, I figured you would be the one that would go cat in your lap no comment yeah <laughs> oh yeah it prince you know what my cat doesn't care what um time of year it is if she's needing some key cat lovins she's gonna get on my lap and i tell you what at night ugh. I am I'm the Grammy middle of a kitty cat sandwich and they're they're like but we love you mommy and you radiate heat so well and I'm like you're two little fur balls and you're keeping the heat in please back off I need to breathe without a f uh, hairball please please but my kitty cats love me and my doggies love me too because they're on the floor so if I have to get up in the middle of the night to go to the bathroom guess what I have a fur baby minefield to navigate through. So there you go. <laughs> oh, well. Right over here. Over in the RLM. Right up top. I see Barman, the most splendiferous bot in the whole wide world. Closely followed by Beetle. Beetle, if you're out there and you're listening, hi. And give, um, uh, oh, God. Now brain farts are us. Pippi. Yeah, give Pippi some ear scratchings. That's what you need to do. Frumpy's looking at pokies. Uh-oh. I don't want to know. I don't want to know. I also see Grimner, the RLM god, is here. As well as the lovely Moose Quail. Are you guys going to both be here tonight for the Freakers Ball? Inquiring Minds would like to know. I also see Backward Bracket DC is in the chat as well as Anti, and we got some Asmodeus Asmo up there as well. Chal Sedoni got the oh going on. I'm here. I be Don C. Java 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 Doctor Two is also in the house as well as Meister Bra. Hey Woody, how you doing, hon? The lovely Miss Kate has also graced us with her presence. Thank you ever so much, Miss Kate. Raw Boykes, and I see that you fired up the bubbler, and you even did a splendiferous job of training Smataz to fire it up as well. Dude, you the man. You the goddamn cybernetic man. That's all there is to it. Um, we got some Romes going on when in Rome. I don't want to know. If you're consenting adults, I don't want to know. The lovely Miss Vanna White, the letter turner of the RLM channel as well as Vinny. Hi Vinny. <laughs> internet is for cat pics. That's right. Cats invented the internet so that we could share awesome pictures of them. Don't believe me? Talk to my sister-in-law. She got um she got a new kitty cat. Uh, he looks Siamese, but he's not full Siamese. But he look his name is Groot. And he looks like a Groot. <laughs> How do I know this? Because she posts pictures almost every day of Groot. He's a cute kitty. He really is. Okay, moving along. Where was I at? Where was I at? Ah, Weather Dork. Hey, Weather Dork. Riddle me this. Am I going to get weather again tonight? You know, like stormy weather. I don't want stormy weather. I could take some rain because the weeds are starting to get a little bit difficult to pull again. So if you give me just a little bit of rain, not not no two and a half inches, but... Oh. Oh, Grimmy's an inquiring mind as well. And an inquiring mind. Mind. <laughs> no, I like that. Mind. <laughs> or Ming. Hmm. Very interesting. Okay. A ceiling cat? That's from a catapult. That's what that is. That's what happens when my cat decides to dig in. In the middle of the night. It's like covers go flying cat goes flying <laughs> actually the cat's going fucking meow so yeah see it's it's just an automatic reaction and there is the f-bomb so early in the show moving along 
Where was I at? Weather dork, please tell me. I don't want to have no nasty weather. You know what? I think it would be real easy if I just type the little code that gets weather dork to tell me. Am I going to have possible light rain? Cool. I could deal with that. Um, oh, 8 ball will get me my weather? Ask again later. <laughs> Oh, hells no. Well, thank you, Magic 8-Ball. Oh, man, my mind just went, never mind. We'll just move along. Hi, Phantom. Phantom, it's the Phantom. Thank you, Phantom, for doing such an awesome job on my intro. I truly do love you. Prince, you're way out in Hollywood, California. Um, God, I hope not. Da, da, da. Oh, and Burbank. Burbank. Huh. You know, everybody talked about Burbank. Beautiful downtown Burbank. <laughs> How fun is that? Okay, moving along. <clears throat> cycles. Hi, Cycles. Cycles, you know what? If I knew how to, I would record uh, nothing but me giggling because it's really not hard to get me started. Um, and just send it to you so that you can get a giggle fix. Although I do know you're going to do the Jewish mother thing at least through the end of August and then probably into September as well. Just and you just do it, girlfriend. It's okay. Get it get that out of your system. It's okay. I love you anyway. Oh hells to the no no no? What's that? What's that? Van Okay, I don't know what I got oh hells to the no 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 for, but yeah. Oh, Sock Puppet says it's very doubtful that I will get weather. You know, I always got weather. It's just, is it pleasant weather? Whether or not I like it or not. That's how that works. See, I, I had a discussion earlier today with someone that I told them the English language is such a wonderful language for casting spells because you have so many words that sound the same but mean totally opposite. And you can, depending on how you use it in a sentence, oh, how many times did you get that in school? Depending on how it's used in a sentence, all kind of things can mean all kind of things. So, um, anybody go on topless? <laughs> no comment. <laughs> Did I tell you there's a reason why I don't do video? <laughs> hmm. I needed a drink on that one. Wow. I, yeah, I said that out loud. Okay, where was I at? <laughs> Cycles, that's where I was. Cyborg Noodle, guess what? It's Friday. That's Posferian Holy Day. May you be touched by the cyborgian noodliness of his holy noodliness. And arg, and go belly up to the volcano beer, the beer volcano, and have a, a wench deliver it to you. There you go. Because that's how Posferians do. Duh. Yeah, see? Duh. That's what Pastafarians do. Duh. Cosmetics? What's cosmetics? I don't do cosmetics. I don't like... Uh, eh. I never got the knack for doing that stuff. So I just said the hell with it and went on natural. <clears throat> Set for my hair color. <laughs> <laughs> Moving along. Hi, Ann Seb. How you doing? Frumped. Frumped. Yeah, that almost sounds like a drum thing, doesn't it? And Frumpy are also here, as well as Gromit. Hey, Gromit, how you doing? Uh, gets the chatters from Arkansas. <laughs> An Arkansas Snuggie. Hooey! That's why they make that noise. <laughs> Bet you didn't know that, did you? Hmm. Oh, Sock Puppet, you know what? I'd much rather see men, old men in tea bags than see them in those marble bags. <clears throat> also known as Speedos. Because, man, you know, you get you get the Quonset over the lawnmower going on, especially if you built a really big Quonset over your lawnmower. And, yeah, it's like they have just this patch of, of rubberized something across their ass and the rest of it's it's not... Wow, thanks. I got a mental image now that I'm going to shake out. Uh, okay, where was I at? Gromit, 
JJ's. No, 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 JJ's a good old feller from Scotland. We also got some kiss going on. Mm, I love you guys. Mr. Snick, knack, patty, whack. Give that dog a bone. I also see we got some ponder gander going on as well as Prince. Hi, Prince. Not the artist formerly known as Prince, but Prince, as in it's in print with an S. Uh-oh. Vinny's boohooing, or Ponder Gander's boohooing. Oh, oops. I, I let your ultra ego slip, Vanny. Oops. I also see some pom 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 pom, -pom sauce in the chit-chat as well as Sock Puppet. Sock Puppet, are you, did you get the, the corners of the blanket fort down, all them? Oh, no. Frumped, that, uh, it, that's not ass floss. No. It's when an old guy in a Speedo. You know, because it, it does cover the cheeks. What you're talking about is rectal floss. That's those three postage stamp swimsuit things with the rectal floss. Another reason why it's called thong is because that's the noise that their butt cheeks make when you pull that down real quick. Thong. Um. <laughs> oh. Oh, that's just, that's just gross. Sock? Why did you give me that mental image to go along with all the other ones? Ew. What is that? Oh, that's a t Oh, oh. That's a tea bag. I'm thinking of the wife beater shirts. I am so on the wrong part of the anatomy. <laughs> I did not see living out here in the boonies. I don't know such things. And that's a good thing. Yeah, that's right, Ponder Gander. Pay no attention to the woman behind the curtain. You never know what she might be up to. Tension. Okay, did I, did I say Smataz? Smataz is here. He's calling for blanket. Oh, they're all up and jelly tight. Yay! You so awesome, Sock. I really, I had no freaking clue that that's what those were called. Wow. Oh, damn. <laughs> See, you just fried my brain. It's not bad enough. World War Three. I hereby declare it is official. Y'all are fucking with my head. <laughs> First it was the damn Gilligan's Island song. And now it's T-backs. I have T-back bras, okay? So... That's where I was thinking. I was thinking upper part of the anatomy. I wasn't thinking, hoy. Where's my mental etch a sketch? <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Grim. I don't feel so bad. <laughs> Although, you know what, hon? You live out in the boonies as well. So, you know, there's there are perks to living in the boonies. Just saying. You don't got to see a lot of this shit. <laughs> <laughs> sock i would get out more if you if you guys didn't have all of that nasty stuff all over the place you know it's like i go to the big city and i see shit that makes my eyeballs go all marty feldman and it's like i don't want to come back here again okay don't make me please i want to go back with my birds and my plants and my doggies and my key cats and my bunny wabbit i don't want to see that <laughs> Oh, you know what? Since we're off to such a silly start, I'm going to get to some real truth here. Because I thank you, Grim. I think Grim is the one that got me addicted to Babylon B. I absolutely love this site. And I didn't realize it's a Christian site. <laughs> How fun is that? Okay. <clears throat> so, did you know that according to uh, Babylon B sources at Babylon B. God demands that America remove in God we trust from currency. <laughs> huh. <laughs> That's called oral sex, not oral, oral. You know, I had to tell someone earlier today because they were talking about French kisses and all kind of other stuff. And, and so I just had to ask them, do you know what the difference is between a French kiss and an Australian kiss? 
And they said, no. And I said, well, they're basically the same thing. It's just the Australian kisses down under. Boom, boom, boom. Moving along. <laughs> oh, my goodness. You know, I've been told I'm going to go to hell. And from what I understand, hell freezes over and it's hotter than hell. So it's really not much different than Northwest Booneyville. <laughs> Hmm. I needed a swig of my apple ginger water. Mmm, that's good stuff. Okay, so back to this wonderful article. <laughs> Washington, D.C. According to sources within the federal government, God has filed a petition demanding the United States remove the phrase, In God We Trust, from all its currency. Sources confirm the petition lists several reasons for the request, including America's culture's rejection of biblical values, abandoning prayer in schools, killing 60 million babies, and the rise of the Kardashians. I would say the rise of Kardashians should be listed right up there. Because <laughs> seriously? God's lawyers suggested several other fitting phrases such as in self we trust, in American empire we trust, and in money we trust, which are all pretty much, I think they'll take the in money, in, in money we, no, because that's just too blatantly obvious. In self we trust, because they all think they're gods anyway, so if it comforts you to think that way, honey, you just go right ahead. I'm going to come over here and I'm going to gnaw your ass. Okay, back to this. So, in God we trust may have been true at one time in their history, but it's certainly not true now, a representative for God told reporters. And you know, yeah, God, he's all about the truth. Well, actually, what am I saying? He is the truth. Okay, it depends which God you're talking about here, because I've, I've heard bandied about that actually the devil is the God of this world, because yeah he did a coup and people went oh wow this guy over here says I can have all kind of cool stuff all I have to do is like sacrifice you and I can have whatever I want and they said cool huh, I'm going with this guy over here and so it was a it was a takeover kind of thing so I don't know that I want to trust in the God of this world just putting that out there as well I've been listening to some weird shit lately, just telling you. So, goes on to say, I mean, let's be real here, the messenger continued. America hasn't trusted in God for a hundred years or more. There was, <coughs> excuse me, there was a brief moment after 9-11, but that lasted like a week tops. Well, that's because we have the attention span shorter than a goldfish. Duh. So, what's wrong with you people, the heavenly source concluded, shaking its head in disgust, because it's an it, because they're, they're not he's or she's, they're it's. I'm smiling. Don't smite me. At publishing time, atheists across the country were withdrawing their petitions for the same demand when they realized they actually agreed with God about something. <laughs> that is kind of cute. I, the headline is what got me. In God We Trust. Yeah, right. Sure. Oh, there you go, Sock. In the JJ We Trust. I know some women that would agree with you on that. Yeah. I don't want nothing to do with no damn God that demands a sacrifice or demands I worship it. Really? Seriously? Talk about petty. Uh, who was it? Terry Pratchett. Yeah, petty gods. Read it. It's funny. It really is. Um, <clears throat> part of the Discworld series, by the way. But, uh, yeah. Who wants to have a God that is so freaking insecure that it demands you worship it and demands that you make sacrifices to it? You know, I think if something is truly godly, truly divine, we are going to be less than atoms. And I'm not talking A-D-A-M. We are less than atoms as A-T-O-M-S. And, you know, I don't trust those things because they make up everything. ba -dum -bum -bum. Moving along. Singing a song. Where do I want to go next? 
Oh, I was having fun with God there. I had another article about God and how God went on strike. Where was that? Yeah, let's do. There's a site. Um... Dun, dun, dun. Do I want to go here? One line fun? No. Uh, God jokes. I got to find some God stuff because I'm, I'm feeling somewhat religiosity now. I know it's scary, isn't it? Maybe because I'm, I'm just feeling extremely blasphemous. Um, oh, here we go. Bored panda. Yeah, this ought to be a good one because I'm a bored panda. <laughs> or not. It's from three years ago. 50 hilarious explanations how God created animals. I really want to know what God was token or poppin when it decided to make like a platypus. Seriously. Look at that thing. And there's other things. I mean, there's stuff that crawls across the bottom of the ocean that looks like someone just got a hacked a loogie. It's gross. But <clears throat> Back to this article. This is Greta. You've got one hell of a last name. I'm not even going to... I would sprain my tongue trying to say it. Greta wrote this, by the way. It doesn't really matter whether you believe in God or evolution or any other kind of theory about life on Earth. It's always interesting to imagine how the conce conception of animals has happened. Have you ever listened to the Robin Williams skit about the committee that was designing the human body? <laughs> I damn near peed myself listening to that the first time. You all need to check that out too. So, um, if we would think that God created animals, how did it all look? He must have had some reference points because conceptualizing millions of different animals is sure hard work. So let's picture this scenario. We're God creating animals. You've just conceived the world and now you want some animals. Well, first you have to think of the name and then, you know, because you got to create a word in order to describe what you're wanting to create, right? You got steps to this thought process. So, you start adding legs to bodies and heads to necks and tails to butts. But everything looks so normal. So you decide to get a little creative. You make a bird talk and you call it a parrot. You stick spikes on a rat and call it a hedgehog. Literally, it's a boar with a fence or, um, oh, okay, whatever. And, and, but wait, there's more. You throw a bunch of random stuff together and call it a duck-billed platypus. D yeah. So, to add some funny animals to the mix, and to slowly but surely, the animal kingdom was born. So, that's one hypothesis, at least. But take a look at these funny animal memes. Oh, it's funny animal memes. What? Okay. So, they're compiled by Bored Panda. And for more possible theories about the dawn of animal kind, sorry Darwin, your animal evolution theory is no good for cute animal memes. That's true, and I think Darwin was full of shit. So, moving along. Number one, God creating spiders. Make it have eight legs. Seems excessive, but okay. And eight eyes. You need to calm down a little. Give it butt rope. <laughs> oh, I like that butt rope. Wow. Sounds painful, but hey, it's rectal floss. God was the first. The number two, God creating kittens. Ah, gee, make them really fluffy and adorable, like little free hugs. And the angel says, aw, so sweet. And then God says, and put razor blades on their feet. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Piercing razor blades. Number three, God creating mosquitoes. 
I wonder how I could get everyone to spray chemicals on themselves and also slap their own faces. You know, you don't realize just how important one is until, guys, this is for you. You have a skeeter on the end of your, yeah, you gonna smack it? <laughs> Got a skeeter on your Peter. Whack it off. <clears throat> Moving along. <laughs> Number four. God creating bees. Put a needle on its butt. Oh, come on, God. What? Well, make its puke delicious. <laughs> Did you know aerodynamically bees should not be able to fly? Seriously, that's what people in science say. I think they're just cool. Number five. This is God creating praying mantis. Make an insect that does karate. Now, make it bite her husband's head off. <laughs> to which the angel responds, dude, we need to talk. <laughs> Number six. God creating dogs. Oh, these turned out great. I'm going to want all of these back at some point. Yeah. Yeah. And they're always happy to see you. Well, unless they're someone else's dog. Number seven. God making pandas. God. Cow bears. Angel. What? God. Did I fucking stutter? <coughs> now... Take it a cow and make it a bear. God, that's kind of messed up. God creating a turkey. Okay, God says, make it like a shitty brown peacock animal technician. Anything else? Oh, and uh, hang a nutsack on its face. <laughs> My, these people are nuts. Uh, God creating snakes. How about a sock that's angry all the time? <laughs> hey, sock, is that your evil twin? I don't want to know. Okay, God creating an alligator. So God says, see that log? And the angel says, yeah. Fill it with teeth. Say again. Fill it. That would do it. God creating jellyfish. How about a bag of evil? Hmm. Yeah, that's pretty much. It's a zinger and a stinger. And you cannot put that on a piece of bread with toast, with peanut butter. It's not good. Um, God creating seahorses. <clears throat> Give them a horse's head, gills, and tiny baby fins. And males give birth. To which the angel goes, what the fuck, dude? <laughs> Oh, number 13. How about uh, God inventing a parrot? How about like a tie-dye chicken who screams actual words at you? Yeah, that would be fun. Or creating an octopus. God says, give it eight super strong arms and hands. To which the angel replies, um, we're out of bones. And God says, okay, eight weird floppy arms with suction cup things. That squirts ink out its butt. Okay, I added the ink out its butt thing. Um, God creating the platypus. Oh, here we go. God says, this is my best work. Yes, Karen, I am high. But that has nothing to do with it. This is perfect. Send it out. <laughs> What's that? What's that? <clears throat> <laughs> oh my goodness thank you cyborg noodle i didn't know okay this was in the chat but i'm gonna say it for everybody else to be able to hear why wasn't Gina, jesus why wasn't jesus born in the usa because god couldn't find three wise men and a virgin if you did uh, no no, not going there. I thought about it, and then I went, no, no. Okay, number 16, God making bats. <laughs> so God says, just like a hairy black potato with wings. Also, it sleeps upside down like an idiot. 
Actually, I think bats are kind of sort of cute. So long as they're over there. Just saying. Number 17, God creating the walrus. What if a dog bear fish, to which the angel replies, you mean a seal? And God says, yeah, yeah. What if one of those fucked a saber-toothed tiger? Oh, dude, that would do it. <laughs> I want to know. God had some really good shit going on. I'm just saying. So, when God invented the hippo, how about a fat horse that's always trying to sneak up on you in a pool? You know, talk about Jaws music. And, you know, from what I understand, hippos are quite vicious. So, how about God creating hyenas? So, it's a cat dog with jaws of steel, uh, to which the angel says, Sweet! But God, then God said, It laughs like Fran Drescher. <laughs> <laughs> and rightfully so. The angel says, The fuck is wrong with you? <laughs> okay. God drunk inventing the hedgehog. It's so cute, but you can't cuddle it because prickly quills or whatever <laughs> okay <laughs> I should have shared this so you could scroll along I think I will anyway because I'm, I'm doing some creative editing while I'm reading because I can <laughs> okay where was I at okay so God making cats black white Stripes, to which Jesus says, no, I need a fancy one. And God says, okay, this one has socks. And Jesus says, more. And God says, tuxedo, done. Oh, man. Have you, uh, uh, oh, shit. Now, my, my little rascal, she's a tortoise shell. That's what my Auntie Wanda said. And they're predominantly female. The calicos and tortoise shells are predominantly female. From, from what I understand. I uh, don't don't quote me. Okay, go ahead and quote me. I don't care. Number twenty two. When God made raccoons, he was like, Do you want to be an old timey burglar or a trash digger? Too slow. You're both now. <laughs> God has a sick sense of humor. So when God was creating animals. Okay. This one got a long throat. Make it literally just a throat. Oh, and give it a face. And call it a snake. Dude. Okay, it's a throat that goes clean to the asshole. Oh, man. Now, mental image. Number 24. God creating spiders. What if I made a tiny land octopus that could walk on walls? See, he did this shit before he had Jesus try out the whole walking on water thing, I'm thinking. Okay, I had another sip there. God inventing horses. Make a sexy donkey. <laughs> Ew. Ew. Foy. Okay, moving along. Uh, number 26, God creating the turtle. Just trap that nasty lizard in any army helmet. Well, yeah, pretty much. Pretty much. Um, God creating penguins. Make them pace back and forth like a lawyer in little tuxedos that go all the way down to their ankles and so all they can move is their feet. Okay, I added the little tuxedos that goes all the way. Sometimes you just plain got to add to it. Number 28, God making chimps. Well, God says, shrink a gorilla and make it smart. The angel says, okay, and what sound should it make? And God says, well, liter literally just have it fucking scream. <laughs> Pretty much. Pretty much. Okay, so God making chihuahuas. How about a big nervous wall-eyed rat? <laughs> <laughs> that bites ankles. Yeah. Eh, hey, yo quiero Taco Bell. Um, number 30, God creating moles. <clears throat> okay, God says, <laughs> I'm all out, make it blind. And the angel, sa angel says, uh, okay. And God says, <laughs> and deaf. 
And the angel says, why? And God says, <laughs> just because. <laughs> See? Sick sense of humor. Sick. Number 31. God creating cats. I'm thinking large, sleepy, temperamental earmuffs. <laughs> that is so freaking true. Oh my God. Thank you. Yeah, that was a good one, actually. Number 32. God making an emu. How about you just take that pile of hay and give it legs, and I'm going to go on a smoke break. <laughs> That's pretty much what it looks like. Pretty much. And Well, actually, it looks like a great big feather duster. You know those things to get the cobwebs out of the corners and shit? Yeah. Um... Jam that tiger in that dolphin. That was God creating sharks. Dun -dun, dun -dun, dun -dun, dun -dun, dun -dun. God creating tigers. What if Frosted Flakes motherfucker was real? Yeah, what if? What if? How about this? God creating dogs. What if one was small and round? To which Jesus said, Dad, stop. They're all too different. And God says, back off. This one will be real long. Oh, the birth of the wiener dog. Sweet. God creating ducks. Just like put a surfboard mouth on a big ping, uh, pigeon and make it a loud idiot. Okay. That, that's not, no. I was not impressed with that one. <clears throat> God creating whales. I want a fat blue piece of shit with 20 foot dick and it sings underwater. Also, get me a beer. No, wait, five beers. You know, I could actually see that. <laughs> God creating the fox. How about a red cat dog? Yeah. Yeah. With a little Mexican jumping bean thrown in. Have you ever watched baby foxes playing? OMG, they are too freaking cute. Number 39. Things aren't weird enough down there, so God invented bugs. Oh my lord. And my mother is calling. She'll have to wait. Sorry, Mom. Number 40. God creating the kangaroo. Okay, how about like an alive backpack that jumps around? Nope. Number 41, God creating a zebra. So, what do you think? To which God's wife says, pointing at the stripes, Is it meant to be like that? To which God responded, Well, I was running out of horse paint. Apparently it was. At least the stripes go vertical and not horizontal. Vertical has a much more slimming effect. Number 42, God creating jellyfish. How about a dumb wet ghost? <laughs> <laughs> number 43 what if uh, God creating dogs what if wolves came in all kind of crazy shapes they do they do number 44 God creating penguins this here is a dolphin bird okay how about number 45 God inventing this joke format how about like a fucked up description of an ordinary thing uh, pretty much Number 46, God creating the frog. How about a really stupid looking kangaroo fish? Oh, you can do better than that. Seriously. Number 47, God creating the owl. How about an old man bird? Oh, that, yeah. Yeah, it looks more old man bird than the bald eagle does. Number 48, God creating cats. This fat squirrel lives indoors. That one sucked. Sorry. Go back to the drawing board. Number 49. Uh, God creating the panda. How about a lint ball with claws? Okay, you, you. Back to the drawing board. That one sucked too. Bird board. That sucked. Number 50. Finally. God creating turtles. How about a dick-faced rock with four legs? Oh, these people tried entirely too hard. Entirely too hard. Some of those were quite amusing. But when you got down the you guys really didn't have to go all the way to 50. Although I've I followed you all the way down that trail. That's my fault. 
Damn it. Oh, it's been a lot of fun and giggles, hasn't it? Now it's time to go, um, yeah. Hi, I am Lone Frog. How are you? <laughs> okay, I need to go check out. Did I put this over there? I'm going to tweet it. I'm going to tweet it again. I'm going to put this in there again. Like God smacking or something. <laughs> okay, I'm going to pigazette.com. Damn it. I want to see what happened this date in history. And, you know, seeing as how technically yesterday morning was the full moon but being out here in the boonies it takes a little bit longer for that kind of stuff to get here so i'm having my full moon tonight the word of the day is safety net it's a transinducing whopper spewed by elected tormentors while they empty your wallet and fit you with those slave of the nanny state shackles uh-huh in the quotable quote section, if you tell the truth, you don't have to remember anything. Mark Twain. Bada bing, bada boom. Okay. Now, this date in history. Scrolling, scrolling, scrolling. Keep that cursor. Let me see if they got the date corrected yet. Nope, they're saying Thursday. Y'all are a day behind. What the hey? I'm going with today, though. What's that, Vinny? You missed what animal could do this? Oh, is that like a, is that a snail thing? I've seen some of those YouTubes. They're funnier than all get out. <laughs> okay, back to this. This date in history, I'm going to call it the 16th of August, 1988. Big Apple Mayor Coke decides to pluck some of that low-hanging political promises fruit when he vows to wipe out street corner windshield washers. Really? Seriously? That's the only way cabbies can see people when they plow into them. Duh! This state in history, the 16th of August, 1991. Bush 1 declares recession is almost over. Ironically, so is his presidency. <laughs> also, this date in history, the 16th of August, 1991, often mistaken for a bloated, speedo-wearing, bloviating lib, Teddy the Swimmer Kennedy, another water warrior, Shamu the Whale, dies at age, oh, Shamu the Whale dies at 16. Oh, because see, that's one of the nicknames that they always called Teddy the Swimmer, Teddy Kennedy. That's their nickname for Teddy Kennedy, Teddy the Swimmer. <clears throat> so, Shamu died. Aww. Aww. 16 years old. I wonder how many that is in human years. I don't wonder hard enough to really actually, like, look it up. But I do wander from time to time. Okay. Dang. This hour has gone fast. Y'all been listening to Grammy's Rocket Chair here on RealLibertyMedia.com Channel 10. Also on lots of other RLM -a -num -a -num -a -num -num places and later to be on the RLM YouTube, RLM BitChute, and iHeartRadio. And coming up later this evening is the Freaker's Ball. Am I correct, Amundo Grimm? If I'm not correct, Amundo, <laughs> what else is new? I'm used to, you know, I was told the other day that I was not wrong. I was merely mistaken. Yeah, but comforts you to... It's those word games everywhere. Oh, well. If it's not the Freaker's Ball, it'll be Balls to the Wall later this evening. But I'm hoping it's going to be the Freaker's Ball. Tomorrow at noon Eastern Time, the Dork Table with Flash of Rooney Dork. And I may actually, by that point in my morning, be ready to come in and have a bit of a sit down. So I might, don't hold me to it, but I might play along tomorrow. Because I really... <sighs> All this rain and the weeds of Gun Kilimanjaro, we can take over. So, um, but I might be able to play along at least for a little while tomorrow on the dork table. Then on Sunday at noon Eastern Time, Grimner is going to be on playing the blues for y'all. You're going to get a little bit of morning blues going on. And uh, directly following, oh, and by the way, trivia going on in the chat 
I'll be there because I want to top my three or four or five correct answers last week. <laughs> Not in a row, mind you, but hey, I was able to zip in there and without stutter fingering and get an answer before anyone else. I was proud of myself. Moving along, directly following Grimmy and the Blues will be Hal Anthony, who's going to really make you sing the blues when he opens up that can of whoop ass on yo ass behind the woodshed. Then Grimmy will be back on Monday at 7 p.m. Eastern time with some leftovers, some ever so tasty, had time to flavors mingle brain food for y'all and monday through friday on channel 14 at 8 p.m eastern time is the ocelli effect then at 2 a.m tuesday morning in a perfect wild with flasher rooney i will be back on wednesday for the wackadoodle wednesday edition of the rocket chair but until then y'all have an absolutely amazing See what I did? <laughs> You're welcome. Okay, I do have this one thing I need to... I saw this earlier. Actually, I heard it earlier in a video. And it got stuck, and so I had to look it up. It's the Antigonish. I met a man who wasn't there. By Hughes Mearns. Yesterday, upon the stair, I met a man who wasn't there. He wasn't there again today. I wish, I wish he'd go away. When I came home last night at three, the man was waiting there for me. But when I looked around the hall, I couldn't see him there at all. Go away, go away. Don't you come back any more. Go away, go away. And please don't slam the door. Last night I saw upon the stair a little man who wasn't there. He wasn't there again today. Oh, how I wish he'd go away. Think about that. Think about what's going on. That really is a pretty damn deep, pretty damn deep. In any case, thank you all for listening in. Have an absolutely amazing rest of your evening and weekend. And hopefully I'll be able to pop in for a little while. But until then, please remember, I truly do love you all. And I wish you all enough. Good night. <laughs>